Any of this? Got it. Okay. So I hope everyone is doing good. Uh, and I'm audible enough for all of you to hear. Yes, bro. Yes. So thank you very much uh, for intro introduction. And let's revise some of the things from our last class. I think it can be like this. So let's revise a few of the things from our last class. And then we'll go ahead. I'm just trying to share my screen. But before I share, okay, let me just ask you, what was the topic of the last class? You just type in the chat box or unmute. What was the topic in the last class? Anyone remembers? I think many of you were there. Not audible, huh? Okay. Who oh, I can remember? Yeah, do a... Is what uh, about the existence of God? Uh -huh. Okay, existence of God, law of karma, law of karma, we told, we'll discuss it later. So. Anyone else? Thank you. Okay, discover your inner self. That was last to last. That was the second class. Okay, but yeah. Universal Brotherhood, Discovery of Universal Reincarnation. I think the last to last class was better. We all, ah, Sri Ash, lessons from Universal Government, our observation. Okay. Yes, yes. Now we are coming to the point. Okay. Mm. A, B, C, D, E, F, yes, yes, that's, that's another thing what we discussed, yes. Ultimate genius, Dhananjay, ah, thank you. So that was the topic, the name. Yeah, our prime duty, if we are part and parcel of, I mean, if we are soul part and parcel of Lord, what should be our duty, yes. Body and soul pain, ah, this is one question we asked last time. That, uh, what is the difference if we are body or we are soul and who among them actually uh, experiences pain? Yes, that was the question we asked. Okay, yes, Sinchan, thank you. What else, what else? Just finish fast. Mm. Scientific observations, yes. We saw some of the observations. We saw, you know, who actually is the... Uh, Mm. Positive outlook towards life, yes. Okay. Animal human difference in first class, yes. That was in first class introduction. We discussed what is the difference between human and animal. We saw that verse. Uh, you know that verse? Dharmo ye kodiko vishesh. Aha nidra bhai mai. Yes. Aha. <laughs> Two million dollar question. Correct. Good. What else? What else? Cap seller story. Yes, yes. This we saw in the second class. Cap seller story. The modes. Oh, no, not in second. Actually, first class. The modes. How the modes act. What, what a person in mode of goodness would have done at that time, what a person in mode of passion would have done, what a person in mode of ignorance would have done. Yes. So that was another thing we saw. What else? From the ultimate genius, 
-hmm. Okay, but this this response itself was good. So happy that all of you are remembering some things. Ah, uh, everyone is looking for happiness. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is what we discussed in first class that everyone is looking for happiness. And how how can we get that where, where, and what, etc. about it. And one of the very important things was that for that happiness, first we need to understand our own existence, who we are, etc. So I'm just going to share my screen and let's see what else was discussed. What did we leave? Okay, this is a summary for last class. We saw what is, uh, see, these are all our observations. Okay. Okay, so these are our observations. You know? Whenever there is something, there has to be a reason behind. You know? So if, if there is an artistry, there should be an artist. So behind every creation, there should be a creator, behind every energy, there should be an energetic. So this is the logic which we, are, which we had put initially. And now what the scientists are telling? So they, there also we saw many scientists uh, they are giving statements that behind they like one of the scientists by name Lord Kelvin. He says, if you really study science, he says the science you will be forced by science to believe in God. So that was his observation. So uh, uh, even scientists are actually understanding that we are not everything, that there is somebody who is beyond us because there's so much more to know. Like for example, in uh, 1900s, there were physicists who used to say that, you know, after they found out about, you know, uh, uh, but even before the, the, uh, the, the Nobel Prize starts, the physicists used to say, Whatever is, is required in physics, we have already found. So the future physicists will be jobless. That was their observation. And you see now, there's so much more which has happened in the last 100 years. So much more. So there is the scientists are actually understanding that there's so much, so many things beyond what we know. There is a creator, there is a there is a, an intelligent mind behind the whole existence as well as maintenance of this whole creation. Then we just talked about $2 million questions. Who created the universe and what is the purpose? And then we saw answer in this comparison between national government and universal government. And they also have ministers. So there are demigods act like ministers, and they also have a controller. Here also there is God is a controller. So there is this. This is what we discussed in the last class. Ultimately, our prime duty, our prime duty, is to take good care of this, uh, of this uh, universe, of ourselves of all the created beings and most important is to serve, to understand the creator and to, to serve that creator in a way that everybody in the universe is happy. <laughs> yes, okay. So this is what we did in the last class and now let's see what we are going to see today. Okay.
So today is the fourth, actually it's a fourth class, but first class was more of an introduction. So that's why this is third session. And today we are going to discuss the manual of life. And we have to wind up a little early today because some of them, some of you have to complete your assignments, etc. So we'll try to wind up by 7.15, as, as we already told. And before I go ahead, uh, I just want to tell you again some of the announcements which were done. I think they are going to do it again, but you have some, you're all entitled to get a certificate which will be internationally valid. But <laughs> you should attend most of the sessions, at least 70, 75% of attendance is required throughout the session. So let's go into this discovering the manual of life, access truth beyond defects. So today's session will be more uh, concentrated on what is the best way to gain knowledge, okay? And how can we really access the real truth? Because we will see now so many examples where you will find that the knowledge which we are, you know, which we are gaining, there are always some or the other problem in that. That's why you will see education policies change, uh, the syllabus keeps changing, the books keeps updating, and the way of imparting knowledge also keeps changing. So there's so much of change because people find that there are better ways. That means there was something less in the previous thing or there was something wrong. Like so many, uh, uh, even in medical field where I belong to, there's so many medications which were initially given for something but later found out that this is not good for this. And sometimes we give medication and we found out some of the side effects which comes later. For example, there's so many frauds going on about vaccine, the COVID vaccine, and we see uh, so many vested interests by companies. So somewhere there is a problem in the way of gaining knowledge, or we have not actually understood it. Or maybe the purpose of knowledge also is not properly understood. So, uh, like, for example, if you say, uh, I was just hearing one of the uh, uh, Swamiji's who actually made these slides, and he was explaining this, his, BMS, his name is Isdhir Zadeh Shampur. So he was explaining this, that if you ask a student in a school, what will you do after gaining knowledge from you? He'll say, uh, uh, I'll get a better degree. Okay, what will you do with that better degree? I'll get a good job. What will you do with that good job? I'll have a successful life. I'll earn money. I'll earn good money. All right. Is that the purpose of life? To earn good money? For some people, yes. But then this life is beyond all that. Because we have seen in the initial classes that sleeping, eating, mating, defending, yes, getting something, a luxurious thing to eat, sleep, mate, defend is not what actually is the purpose of human life. We are supposed to understand higher principles, higher truths, and make our life perfect. But by doing this, that's not what is happening. So that's not what is the purpose of our life. So for that, we need to actually understand what is the real knowledge. How does it come? For example, you are just hearing a wonderful music, a mantra, and the chanting of that mantra is happening, is, is done by the founder Acharya of this society, his divine gifts. Swami Prabhupada. So he was once talking with the scientist and he said, what's your, uh, what's your speciality? What, what research have you done? So he said, I have, run, I have written two volumes on the grasses. What is the structure of grass? How it is made? What is the molecular structure? What is the uh, uh, atomic structure? So that's what I have done. These are two volumes. Achha. Why have you done? What gain is the what what gain is society getting from this? He's telling animals. See, you are doing research to find out, but the cow already knows it, and that's why he's eating grass. He's getting. We are doing research because we need to do something. 
So then Prabhupada used to say, Are, if you have to do something, then instead of finding out what is there in this grass, first find out who has created all this. If you can just do research on the creator, so many other things will automatically get explained. Because we see the example of so many scientists who are now finding out that whatever is written in the scripture is actually true. You know, the mathematics given, uh, the, the, the uh, so many vijnanas like, you know, music, Ayurveda, uh, Vimana Shastra, uh, the, the art of fighting, so many things which are given already in scriptures, how to keep the military uh, arrangements, how to enter into somebody else's uh, arrangements of army and then uh, enter and fight properly, how to uh, 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 heal, how to get the herbs to heal faster. So, so many things are already given. But after so much of research, we find out those things and then we say, oh yeah, we have found out and that's true. Prabhupada used to say, why are you wasting so much money? If you already, if you just follow what is in scripture, you don't have to waste so much money. So, uh, these are the things which we now, you know, uh, going to see. And please understand, the purpose is not to tell you the futility of current education. That's not the purpose. We are not here to create confusion inside you. And at the end of the class, you say, Are, manage your 18, 20 years tak bada suna. Is it all waste? <laughs> no, that's not the purpose. But the purpose is at least from now, at least we are trying to, we should at least try to get the knowledge from the right source and try to understand what are the right ways of gaining knowledge. So that, that's the purpose of what we are going to discuss today. So indefeatable Vedic truths. For example, in Jagdish Chandra Basu, I tried to find out plants have life and he almost spent his 30, 40 years into that. Embryology, we see Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto speaking about embryology. You know, uh, uh, what, uh, how, how the sperm and ovum get together at what, how, after how many days, how does it look? We just give example, something like, you know, it looks like a pea, now it looks like a lemon, now it becomes the size of an orange. And after now, after the advent of ultrasound, now even humans have started finding out and there are so many things which already matches. The size of the ovum matches. So, these are all indefeatable Vedic truths. Cow dungs and cow products, earlier we were not, uh, earlier there was no, uh, uh, what do you say, awareness about all this. But now people are finding out and there are research happening in pharmacy where they're finding that these products are actually very good for health. Cow urine has an antiseptic properties. I had one of my colleagues who was, a, who was into pharmacy and he has done a research, or his colleagues were doing a research that if you take anti-cancer drugs, which are mixed with cow urine, the dose required for uh, attaining the requirement of dose reduces. And as the requirement of dose reduces, the side effects of anti-cancer drugs also reduce just by mixing them with cow urine. And of course, cow dung again has so many medicinal properties which are now being uh, a very, it's, it's a very uh, important research topic these days. Because we have so many books, so many yeah, yoga. Yoga is another thing. People are now coming up that earlier it's just we used to say old, old school. But now there are so much known about yoga and people are accepting it. There are so many researches which is done, including in our hospital about how we can mix and find out the health benefits of yoga. And people have now realized that gymming is not enough. People who are only into gymming and no proper yogic exercise are actually you know, they are losing battle of life so early. We are now hearing so many sudden heart attacks and heart fails and so many people dying out of it. So just doing some vigorous exercise is not enough. That's why yoga is a wholesome thing where you are mixed with niyama, pranayama, asana, 
dhyan, samadhi, everything together. So all these things are now being realized and in, in, the, in the modern world as well. Oh, sorry, I think it was, it's not, we are not able to hear. I have to share the screen again. So by the time I do that, these are the things which are now are including modern world and there are more and more people who are taking these things as their research projects. So this is, so people are now realizing the importance of, you know, Vedic science and importance of uh, understanding these things and inculcating them in their day to day. Why there is no sound? So, yeah, so that's why uh, we'll see some of the examples now of uh, how the Vedic system is. I don't know if the sound is there. Anyways, just see some of the medical, this mathematical calculations. So see, now uh, even I have seen so many schools are now coming up with teaching the Vedic mathematics. This has again become a kind of uh, job and uh, just now one of uh, you was sharing, I think Ranjay was sharing that one of his colleague is working on the, uh, the effects of cow urine on cancer. These things are now being proven and anybody who close their eyes and still stay blind is actually like this blind man. So let's hear one of the stories now. There is a very famous story from our scriptures about six blind men and a wise man. So what happened is there are six blind men who actually came across an elephant. And now they are trying to deduce how an elephant looks like because they cannot see but they are trying to perceive through their sense of touch, etc., how an, any, how an elephant looks like. So the people who are at the trunk, they think elephant looks like a snake because he is touching the snake. So this person is now thinking that elephant is like an axe. He is touching the horns. And this person thinks that an elephant is like a wall because touching the body. 
sorry uh, this this person thinks it's an axe because touching the ears and this person is like arrow because touching the horns and this person is thinking it's like a tree because touching the legs how do you think they gain complete knowledge perfect knowledge about the elephant right now what they are doing is they're speculating because from their direct perception the thing may be like this may be like that because they cannot see directly or they they have no proper knowledge about it so how do you think they can gain complete and perfect knowledge about the elephant so what's your answer how do you think they can gain complete and perfect knowledge about the elephant please remember they are all blind yes waiting for your replies they can hear they can hear from whom anish hear from whom mm -hmm. how can they know okay no answers Rajesh, from a person who actually sleep. Okay, let's see what the answer at the end of the class. So there are three ways of gaining knowledge. Please understand this is this is not these are some facts which we need to understand now. Okay, because when we are talking about basics as well so please understand there are three ways of gaining knowledge one is pratyaksha praman pratyaksha means what you see or whatever my senses can perceive that is what i believe anything beyond that i do not do or okay we'll, we'll see the example for example i say that Until unless you don't bring God in front of me, I do not believe in God. Anyway, next Anuman Praman theory is based on observation. For example, we say speculation. Guess like for example, I I think what happens to my my voice. my voice is not audible sometimes okay i don't know why but i'll try ha huh. so anuman praman is what anuman praman is you guess based on some knowledge or some work you guess and and i think more um Uh, we say initially we think it may be put forth initially so we do lot of guess work maybe it's like this and maybe it's like that cause it's like this so it may be like this etc so this is all anuman praman and scientists and uh, discoverers they are all very fond of this because they are little bit on perception they can think to be what is perceived by our senses so, so that's what is anuman praman perception and then third is shabda praman hearing from a authority so now let's first check with you mm -hmm. think best way of gaining knowledge which among the three so there is a pratyaksha praman There is Anuman Praman. There is a Shabd Praman. Which one do you think is the best way of gaining knowledge? Because actually, we generally in our day-to-day life gain knowledge from all the three. But which one do you think is the most source of gaining knowledge? Type whether Pratyaksha, Anumana, or Shabda. 
direct perception theory is based on observations dhananjay is telling shabda praman anyone else just guess <laughs> you can you can use anuman praman to answer this anish is telling pratyaksha praman okay what else what else any other answers just guess use some anuman praman to put anubhava praman <laughs> chetan is telling anubhav praman so i think with that you mean pratyaksha praman okay i hope so or anu uh, uh, he is trying to give another way of getting knowledge maybe okay sushma is telling pratyaksha saurav is telling shabd aap to desha praman okay fine so thank you very much for all your answers and as we go ahead you will get to know which one so first let's start with pratyaksha praman now what is pratyaksha praman is i see perceive i believe whatever my senses can perceive whether it's the sense of ears or sense of i believe only till that but we is this is the best way anything until you perceive let's say can pratyak mana give us full knowledge is seeing believing if yes then what you are looking here is the tracks are converging from two into almost like one or at least you are seeing the gap between two rays is reducing but actually it's an apparent observation it's not a true observation yes now there are sometimes the glasses the mirrors which are you know concave mirror convex mirror sometimes they are kept in different angle and you see your distorted images now you can see diffraction you put a a, a pencil and it became bent and even the size is increasing is it true no it mirages so seeing if we say only sense perception is believing then senses are actually fooling us because eye is fooling us because this illusions which we are seeing mirages looming a uh, bending refraction uh, these are all uh, actually fooling our eyes So that means if we see, we see it, then we may get we fooled. Our eyes are not perfect, so we cannot acquire complete knowledge using our material senses like eyes, etc. Why? Because us are going through four defects. Imperfect senses. Our senses are not perfect. We have a particular. uh hearing power we say 20 to 20 uh with the specs it reduces but otherwise say till 6 meters you can easily read then you know that that's about and then smell smell also you can see dogs they can smell better we have limitation in smell also that too sometimes when we have cold and cough that smell also goes <laughs> you cannot smell and you know lot of people during covid they could feel that they are not able to smell <laughs> and then hearing of course we can as, as we just mentioned the touch sometimes the touch also we cannot perceive enough there are people who are very sensitive there are people who get thick skin and they cannot feel the touch at all and of course taste you eat something sour over that you eat something sweet it becomes very sweet but you eat something sweet and over that you eat something more something less sweet you will think that there is no sweet in this or i think most of you would have this example or you would have uh, uh, experienced this 
how many of you have ever had a mouth freshener or a cough tablet like vix or menthos or something how many of you have ever had that you can either type or raise your hands how many of you have ever had okay tanish is telling me yeah. okay ah uh, shriya also had okay fine and how many chetan how many if you have drank water over that that wake so that menthos or that any other lozenges drink water over that no <laughs> so i think most of you will have that observation yeah very cool it starts feeling very cool yes so that's the example of imperfect senses our senses are not perfect we can easily be fooled start considering those sense perception as our major way of gaining knowledge then there are lot of chances that the knowledge which we gain also is imperfect because the senses are imperfect okay next is to be illusion we easily tend to get illusion we'll see examples of that and then tendency to commit mistakes is it to be human means we said to err is to human that means every human tendency to do some error or commit mistake which is considered as not a human being you know we said or we put as technical error or you and then cheating propensity all of us has this propensity thoda bahut cheating hai hai the imperfect senses like you can see our eyes are blind beyond age our range ears are deaf beyond this 20 to 20000 but the animals the bats they can even hear ultrasonic waves and uh, this cat and all can even hear infra infrared sounds the senses are limitation i can use instruments to get more knowledge about the world it's on but i have instruments who can take care of that but logic is given by this physicist eugene wigner what is it eventually But eventually, from our own senses only, we have to interpret. Similarly, even if you have a microscope, what is seen in the microscope, you have to interpret through your own understanding, which is based on your own sense perception. Again, so how can it be perfect? Even if we find instruments, the knowledge is no more perfect than our imperfect. and then to be illusion this is the example you take something sweet and over that you take something sour and you take something else which is like orange but orange like more sour if you have had over something sweet and such a good picture of gulab jamun is kept <laughs> you but you but if you eat an orange over a lemon it will be very sweet because lemon is very sour similarly skin when touched with warm hand it appears cool oh, sorry water appears with warm hand appears cool and water touched with cold hand appears warm so now this is again for you each picture has least two ways to see depending on what you choose to discard creativity to different ways of perceiving each of the pictures not tell whose photo is this i am waiting for your answers just type or unmute and tell or raise your hands whatever Whose photo can you see here? I'm not. 
about the name of the personality but i'm just talking about is it man women girl or see here no answers i hope you are not sleepy because as soon as i see this photo i can uh, it looks like some young girl is there you can participate just type no problem okay anyways we have an answer a young lady and a old woman very good yeah thank you with the hair of the young girl this looks like a scarf hair scarf this is a throat etc this looks like some necklace and these are the upper limbs the, the elbow the shoulder etc at the same time this is like a old women who this is like a nose of the okay these are the eyes so for a girl it looks like hairs and for a boy i mean uh, for a old girl old lady these are the cursor is because there is a power cut anyway that will come now what can we see uh huh Okay. This meeting is being recorded. I'm just uh, sharing the screen again. Okay, so there was just a power cut. So we are talking about yeah, this. What can you see here? What can you see here? Or what all can you find from? Get up to go fast today. We'll just wait for ten more seconds. Yes. What else? Old man and old man. Thank you, Panchi. Okay. Fine. so yes this has a women and there is a man playing guitar and the same time this whole looks like an old man as closely you will and without blinking you will find that these this looks like moving and then here also you will find that this is moving You just observe, and that too. One is clockwise, and one is anti-clockwise. Just concentrate on it, and you'll find out. There, mark the dot inside. You will see the circles around are actually moving, and that too. One is clockwise, and one anti-clockwise. But that is when you see the dot and try to come to. Uh, Towards and then go away, so backwards and forwards. Such a good, <laughs> you know, art. So all our senses are known as optical illusions. So eyes have tendency to be illusions. 
ears have tendency to be loose and tongue has tendency to be loose and this is the second defect what we have and the third one is to commit mistakes and this is another thing we continue to commit mistakes and to commit mistake is not a problem but thinking that i can never be wrong mistake try to speak like to prove i was not wrong or try to fight on it etc that is what is a problem lack of humility is a problem doing mistake is not a problem but people you know they want to just prove they are right that's that there it becomes a problem because ego comes in so committing mistake is no problem but whenever there is a tendency to commit mistake that is not the best way of gaining the absolute now direct perception is the but now you see brain is everything and then pituitary glands or master glands were initially sort of vestigial or never it keeps changing so similarly this one of the bad, big ox big fraud which was then in built down and it is told that you know that we have come from apes and how do you found that we have come from apes and monkeys is because we found the jaws the skull and we found that there is a changes in the skull and that shows that skull evolved and people evolved etc but that are the i don't know why there is a gap in my sentences or is everybody feeling that my voice is not audible in my voice if yes you can let us know okay maybe i'll just remove this and try to speak there is a break in voice Okay, let's see like this. So, <laughs> okay, is it is it little better something? Do something else. Is it little better? Can you hear me a little better now? Okay. Sorry for all that, but we will keep revising, uh, so you, you will not miss anything. Fine. So this is one of the big thing which was done, where a person actually they found that you know, in when we read evolution. Uh, what they say is how do they make sure that somebody has evolved from that species of course not only biology people uh, read more about it but you would have heard little bit about darwin and uh, this saying that we have come from monkeys and apes etc but how do they establish that link is they 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 were not there 100 years back but what they found is this, the skeletal remains and then they found that the skeletal will be like this and they do some picture reconstruction and then they find that the person also would be looking like that so they'll say this is the animal this is human and the missing link between this person looks like this etc and that's how they give theory and people accept but there lot of cheating involved this is a pilled down hawks is one of the this thing pilled down is a place so there they found they actually found that a person actually has taken the human but he has filed it 
from the sides to give it a shape which is different and which matches with the ape, their so-called ape. And then they told that we have come from that. Connecting link, but later found out that it was all hoax. So connecting link made up in 1912, and the fraud was revealed that it was actually human cell and a filed job. And the birds missing link, there also they found there was a bird which they used to say that reptiles and mammals, there is a connecting link. Then between birds and amphibians, there is a connecting link. So, so many connecting links are trying, but you know, there's so much of uh, um, cheating involved in the because people have their selfish interest, they are not giving this knowledge just to society because they have their own interest in that. Evolutionists go so far in this subject that they can even invent very different faces for the same skull. The three entirely different reconstructions made for the fossil calls in Xanthropus is a famous example showing how persistent evolutionists are in producing these false masks. Another intermediate transitional form fabricated by evolutionists was the Nebraska man. This was cooked up in 1922 on the basis of a single fossil tooth. The evolutionists did not neglect to give it an ostentatious Latin name, as Parapithecus, Harold Cooka, or to make imaginary drawings related to it. It was soon revealed that the tooth that had been the source of inspiration for Nebraska man, in fact, belonged to a wild pig. Many other fossil skulls have been presented as great evidence for evolution failed one by one. Neanderthal man was advanced as evidence in 1856, dismissed in 1960. Piltdown man was advanced as evidence in 1912, dismissed in 1953. Zenzanthropus was advanced as evidence in 1959, dismissed in 1960. Ramapithecus was advanced as evidence in 1964, dismissed in 1979. Okay, so these are the things which keeps happening. Many, many videos on that. Of course, we'll not be telling everything, but yeah. So this is just to give an idea that how the scientists are actually some of, but most of some motive behind things. Now, research will uh, up to what I am trying to tell. So be like that so that's the anuman praman and one of the biggest example of this is darwin the whole observation of evolution is based on this anuman praman he writes particularly again and again in his the origin of species that uh, how the everything what he has done actually is something which he thought of this island which i just went and something just came to his mind <laughs> so so many things, especially when it comes to theory of evolution, because evolution is so many millions of years back. Until unless you don't speculate, how will you come up with a theory? But you see, the theory of natural, so there is a theory of evolution, natural selection. And what natural selection says is, uh, there'll be change of environment and weather time to time. And whichever species is able to make changes in itself to accommodate that environment will stay and others will extend. And that's how the evolution is happening. But the question again put is, 
is a human beings and apes simultaneously existed million and if we say man has come from monkeys then monkeys and man cannot uh, uh, sustain at the same time but this is not what happens even today if we say that bacteria and viruses are the most uh, is the highest but all the other species are still existing and we are also existing because life started how bear evolved from a whale so that's what they say uh, the life came aquatics came first and then came mammals them are existing together selection is not because one other person would have got extinct by that time that's how the naturally they have uh, made changes inside them and got uh, uh, were able to tackle that change in the environment they say giraffe there were two types of giraffes neck and short leg long neck were able to reach and eat the leaves but short neck could not are <laughs> but if giraffe had to stretch the neck so much why did it drink water why you have to why why they have to become herbivore they can become a aquatic animal or they can become both and uh, the deer couldn't survive at all shouldn't have survived at all that means when giraffes were there only giraffes could survive and there were no other animals at all there were no others we walk from even why monkeys are still surviving they would have got extinct and then only humans so all these arguments are actually failing these speculations because they can they, are, they they only talk about some some speculation and then there are so many logics which actually come that's why the darwinism is actually taken off from so many western books but you know in india we still keep reading about it. So it is a fact that vedas also talk about evolution but not of the body but of the spirit soul and vedas say that soul who is residing in one body moves at the time of death to another body this is what we saw yeah, bhagavad gita telling this in the previous class okay so what is the problem in making mistake in research yes there is no problem but everybody do prob everybody uh, can be anybody can be wrong what is the problem let me first enjoy what is already there this is the argument we can put at least there are some good things which are made yes agreed correct there are technology has and there so many things so we can say let the scientists think of the answers let them uh, do whatever they want i have so many things given by the research i have so many gadgets i can i have laptops i can talk to this person and so far and i am here i will just make best use of the technology and best use of the research yes that's correct but what most of the but where is the research heading the society towards that's what we need to see so many adverse effects see what is happening to these games these screens these 3d's sleeplessness i see so many kids coming up with attention deficit they have hyperactive there is so many things which keeps moving there is no rest and mobile works as you want you want to play people develop violence from games all the children now why they like they like gun they that amaze them you kill you kill in this way and you kill in that way and so that this all amaze them. and so many problem loss of relationship because people are into social media and they are not at all social develop keep binge eating because the mind is somewhere else and food is lying in front of you so there's so many bad outcomes are coming from this researches this is another thing the for this is uh, they made they claim 
can do so many tests, but ultimately they found the tests were not correct. And so many patients has to uh, 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 take the brunt and they become more sick. And initially they thought it's a bubonic plague. That means the plague happens because of cats. So it was ordered cats because uh, uh, But later they found out it's not because of cats, but it's because of rats. And now, what, what do you do? They killed so many cats, now the rats are so much and actually they found out that, that the plague, the epidemic was because of rats. Now you are in trouble. So this is what happens when you have half knowledge because half knowledge is dangerous. So now what is the best way of gaining knowledge? Whether you want half knowledge, full knowledge. So let's do this quiz. Can you tell some of the, okay, this some of the uh, inventions in current date, which actually later become a bigger problem. Initially, they were devised, they were found to uh, solve one problem, but they later become bigger problem. Can you think of some inventions in the modern world like that? <laughs> Artificial intelligence. It is now coming up, Chetan. We don't know it is going to become a bigger problem or not, but a lot of people already came up how AI or artificial intelligence is becoming a problem. Okay, something else you can think of? Something which is becoming a bigger problem or initially it was thought of a solution. Have you heard of the coolants which used to come in ACs, which were later found as CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. And they found that initially it was uh, freons. Yes. So initially they were devised to uh, make it as a coolant to, you know, uh, for ACs to cool the plate. But later they found out that it is very bad for ozone layer. And here it's cooling, but there they are damaging ozone layer. And now there is more heat waves and more uh, uh, harmful waves, which are now, especially the ultraviolet rays, which are now entering the environment of Earth. And so many glaciers are uh, uh, being, uh, because there's so much heat coming, the glaciers are uh, uh, melting. And now there's so much of havoc. So one thing causing becoming a big, one solution is becoming a bigger problem because half solutions, half knowledge, incomplete knowledge. So half knowledge is always dangerous. So how can we look for that full absolute knowledge? And actually this is the key to happiness. We can never obtain complete knowledge just by protection and human Praman. It is dangerous to operate a machine with half knowledge. Similarly, it is dangerous to manipulate the universal cosmic machine without knowing about it from the creator who created For another example, which we have is, you know, I don't know how many of you, if you are from Dakshin Kannada, you would have heard of this uh, endosulfan. I don't know whether you heard, but this endosulfan tragedy, they thought endosulfan is a kind of pesticide. So they came on uh, because the crop was uh, getting infected by the insects. So they took a helicopter and threw endosulfan on many, many crops, especially this coastal belt of uh, Karnataka and Kerala. And now, or, or at least that time, later after five, 10 years, they found out that it is entering into their genes and children are, uh, when they are getting born, they are getting born with so many of developmental issues. Somebody has a physical issue, somebody is mentally retarded, somebody's eyes are not formed properly, somebody cannot eat. So many children are born with so many issues. 
and they're still fighting for it. So there's so many things which happen because of incomplete knowledge. Initially, because of the green revolution, how the green revolution, because they brought fertilizers and pesticides. Now they're finding that these fertilizers pesticides are actually cancerous. And now we are going towards organic again. And organic, earlier these pesticides were costly and organic was normal. And now organic food is double costly than this pesticide food because pesticide food is normal. So to get one thing out, you are creating more problem because incomplete knowledge. Okay, so I think the time is getting over. So I'll just show you this video and then we'll stop for today. So this is how the incomplete knowledge is. <laughs> so we get stuck with this. So now we'll see, not today, next class, we'll see where is the manual that can explain how this cosmic machine is. And if we get that manual, we get the key to happiness. This we are going to see in the next class. The key to happiness, how we can get the best way of gaining knowledge. How can I get that manual which has no defects in it, which need, which, which is not required to be updated. And that's where I can actually find the key to happiness. So we'll stop here for today. We'll continue tomorrow and we'll cover this topic as well as the tomorrow's topic when we meet next. So thank you very much. Any questions or comments? So what we saw today is basically the ways of getting knowledge. See, I'm going a little slow on this topic because this is very important. And this is not only important in this, this is important in all the phases of life because we need to know where we are getting illusion. This is important. Otherwise, people just come and, uh, you know, they, they take advantage and we will waste so much of our important time. So that's why uh, we're going a little slow on understanding this because this is something which is already engraved and it takes time to uh, uh, realize and convince about these things. And again, we are not telling the inventions are wrong. We are not telling the scientists are completely wrong. We are telling that incomplete knowledge is wrong and whenever we try we should try to get the complete knowledge yes and even if we have to speculate something we should have a good amount of knowledge and but always always speculation is not the best way of gaining knowledge we need to understand all these things so we'll continue tomorrow Anyone has any questions or comments or something which you could not understand or you can all, always type in the chat box. Thank you, Chetan, for hearing attentively. Oh, Hare Krishna. Yes. Hare Krishna. Uh, I'll share the form of the quiz that is related to today's chapter. Today's session, uh, and like everyone can solve that. 
uh, i'll share it in the uh, chat box right now and then uh, later i'll uh, i'll share it in the whatsapp group also so i request everyone to uh, please solve the quiz okay so thank you everybody and you can always you know if you are not able to ask your question and if you have any doubts and first of all asking question is important don't be shy if you have any doubts if you're not understanding or even if you have to clarify twice or thrice and if you are not very comfortable asking it here you can always ask it uh, later personally as well our volunteers the admins of the groups which you are added to are always ready to help you and we'll meet you again tomorrow meanwhile the link has been shared already in the group and the chat box as well as it will be shared in the group shortly and all the videos of our previous classes are also available so if you could if you have missed something you can always go back and look at it so thank you very much thank you for your patient hearing and thank you for your participation looking forward to meet all of you tomorrow at 6 o'clock with the answer to key to happiness and many more good things to come so till then have a good sleep and have a good peaceful night and have a insightful time ahead thank you god bless you hari krishna